So if you just came from my last video, you're probably wondering, why on earth are you mining copper ore outside of Lumbridge? And you know what? I wouldn't blame you, because I would have the same question. It turns out, the last time I played in the free play worlds, as a free player, the restriction was quest points. That was the only restriction on trade. It turns out, Jack X changed that. So you need 100 skill total, 10 quest points, both of which I have, that's not the issue, and 20 hours of game time. I currently have 10 hours and 7 minutes. So I am completely out of money because of this. I bought standard mine dry clay to make soft clay, thinking that I can make a good profit off of it, because I can. It's like something like 700 GP in inventory. I bought, I think I just bought one inventory to make sure it sells, but it turns out I can't sell that soft clay. And that's created a problem because now I can't afford food or equipment or runes. And I need 33 magic to get telekinetic grab. So this has become an issue. It's just another obstacle. I'll get through it. I'm not worried about it. I currently have 27 tin ore in my bank. I'm going to mine 27 copper. I got 480 GP from a wise old man. So once I get this mined, I'll make bronze bars. That should give me 148 each at 27. What, 3500 GP to work with? And that should be enough. If it's not, I will sell some stuff. I'll find another way to get some money. I'm not going to bother putting it in the video. I feel like I have extended this out way too long. It's free play stuff. It should not take three videos to begin with. I'm including Dragon Slayer separately because it has a lot of nostalgia for me. I spent a lot of time just working my way up to Dragon Slayer on multiple accounts way back in the day. And I like to relive it every now and then. Um, this one has a bit of a twist that I think you guys might enjoy. I'll save it for later in the video. I'll see you guys in a couple hours, but for you, it's going to be about four seconds. See you then. Well, my goodness, I did not realize they made so many changes to the free play worlds. I ran into a lot of issues, but we're finally ready to conquer Dragon Slayer. I considered just shoving this entire quest into episode two and being done with it so I could move on to the members area and start conquering those quests and knocking out Slayer agility, all those good skills. But this quest holds a lot of nostalgia for me. Back in the day, I would continuously make free play accounts, because I obviously didn't want to use my parents' credit card to pay for membership, or rather they wouldn't let me. I'm sure a lot of you can uh, share that feeling. And my main challenge was just see how low of a combat level I could kill Elvarkin we're with. Right now this account is level 26. I am absolutely going to cheese this. I'm going to be attempting to flinch him, to be completely honest. And we're going to hope for the best. So, without further ado, let's get started. Anti-Dragon Shield acquired. So right now, the plan is to get the Lady Lumbridge fixed up, hence the nails, hammer, and planks, and the 2,000 coins. And then we will get the map piece from the goblin in the port serum jail next we'll head up to melzar's maze and get that map piece and finally we'll go to thalzar and grab that piece from the dwarven mines once we're done with that we'll go talk to ned and we will get this show on the road i'm keeping this myth sword in my inventory because it's what i intend to kill elfgar with if memory serves correctly he's very weak to stab like most dragons and this is the best equipment i can wield i should probably mention that this is the lowest level account i've ever attempted this on <laughs> and this is this is my bank so we really only have one shot at this otherwise I'm going to have to go make more money and I really don't want to do that yeah so let's get started oh I'm keeping this in my inventory because once I went to do this and um, I left my sword in the bank and I didn't realize until I was dead so let's not leave my inventory alright so we've got the Lady Lumbridge on to the map piece Map piece number one, acquired. So I didn't really need this, but I just realized I didn't have a cape. Much better. On to the maze. So I don't remember if anything in this room is actually aggressive in this entire building. So I'm either going to see you when I get the map piece, or after I kill the lesser demon, or in Lumbridge. Either way, see you then. 
So I actually had to go AFK almost as soon as I got into the maze. My dogs are barking at something outside, and it is currently 2.30 in the morning. So they can't exactly be doing that. Thankfully I did get a little bit of a, the percentage though. So I should get a little bit of a reward. So really quick, for anyone wondering how to do this quest with a safe spot, you have to lure Melzar over there like I did, and then run over here to this box. It's also possible to trap this spider between you, but that's a little more difficult. And it's not something I personally recommend, or anything I've ever done more than once. Also got 25 hit points in the zombie room, which was my goal. 20, 20, 10, 25. And the lesser demon can also be safe spotted, so I think I'm good. I'll see you guys momentarily when I get the map piece. And the safe spot for the lesser demon is fairly straightforward. Just right out the door to take a right, if you're looking north. And that's map piece number two. So now we've got most of the hard parts done. The next challenge will be killing Elvarg, but first we have to get the other map piece from below the Dwarven Mines, or in the Dwarven Mines, I should say. And that's map piece number three. Let's go grab Ned and let's go take on Elvarg. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our captain. Time to take down that dragon. This is what we're rolling with. We got some anchovy pizzas, swordfish, strength potion, teleport out to rock in case we just aren't doing any damage. Stab bonus of plus 22, um, not the best, not the worst. Level 27, and these are the stats. 20 strength, 20 attack, 10 defense, 25 hit points. No protection prayers, um, I don't think I'll end up praying to begin with, but we'll see. I'm going to be flinching Elvgar Elvarg, like I said. My auto retaliates off. Um, this is probably going to take an hour, roughly, maybe? So I obviously won't be showing the entire thing. Um, I might speed it up, or I'll just cut to the end where I'm cutting off his head. Spoiler alert. Okay, see you in a few minutes. This is going to take a while. As you can see, I logged out and logged back in so we can keep track of how much time, how long this actually takes. So far, we're at a minute. Okay, we did it. 23 minutes, 54 seconds. That did not take nearly as long as I thought. Let's go complete this quest. And that's quest complete. Oh, I didn't know you need to do this quest so I can wear a dragon plate body too, that's pretty cool. So that bumped us up to 33 defense from level 10 and to 35 strength from level 20. And we are done here. 34 combat, um, completed at level 27. I said in my first episode of this From Scratch series that I wanted to complete Dragon Slayer before I moved on to the members quests. It was an interesting little slog through the, the restrictions Jagex has placed on replay accounts, specifically the 20 hours to like do things like sell copper, clay, any other resource that you can get early game. It doesn't matter how many quest points you have, and that's a bit of a shame. I didn't know that beforehand, otherwise I would have planned differently, but here we are. I didn't do all the free play quests, um, I don't consider most of them necessary. I'll do them at some point, but Dragon Slayer was my real challenge. Elvarg died at 23 minutes 54 seconds, thank you guys so much for watching. The next time I see you, it will be in a member's world, we'll be doing member stuff, probably Druidic Ritual, and we might try to knock out some early levels. Like I said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like the video. Let me know what your favorite RuneScape quest is, or what the lowest combat level you've completed Dragon Slayer at. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a video. And I'll see you next time.